This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the BYD Tang, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the charging curve of the Tang. This is Blade Battery LFP Lithium Iron Phosphate, and I'm going to show you now. All right, let's just roll the tape. So, um, yes, on the top you have the Tang. Uh, I now supply the net capacity of these cars, and I also compare it to ES8, kind of similar ish um, Chinese car also, and the Mach E, completely different, and also e tron. And so, all actually, all these cars they have similar battery sizes, net capacities. And as expected, the e tron will go quite fast at the bottom or all the way. But what we want to look at is the Tang. So, you see that the volt in the Tang is quite high 692. This is, I guess, you can call it an 800 volt system. And um, as the voltage goes up, then you get more and more power. So um, uh, you see that uh, this car is capped at 170 amp, whereas actually most of the other cars, they go way above uh, uh, 170 amp. So that's a slight limitation. And uh, you see, as we go higher and higher up now, then the power will slowly increase. So what you actually want to do is to charge at least to 65%. Uh, and then you want to arrive with more than 5% if you can, or if you... If you, for example, you can charge to 50% to reach the next charger, charge a little bit extra because when you arrive at the next charger, you will have higher voltage and then slightly higher speed. But okay, so compared to ES8, actually, you see that um, the Tang is charging faster than ES8. ES8 was initially faster, but then it hovers at 90 kilowatt for the longest time. But I heard that now the ES8 has higher peak power. It peaks at 125 kilowatt, and but then uh, I don't know how it, it is beyond that one. I will borrow ES8 soon. We're going to do another rematch there. But as for now, this is kind of old-ish ES8 the charging curve. But uh, Tang is charging faster. Really nice and impressive how nice and flat the charging curve is. Okay. There's nothing near the e-tron, of course, um, but how is the degradation, by the way, in e-tron versus Tang? Well, that I will show once uh, I get my hands on the e-tron with lots of DC fast charging, I'll figure out how much degradation they have. But I already have seen uh, Facebook post indications that the e-tron might have as much as 12% degradation after just two years. Uh, okay, so yeah, you see now, uh, back to the Tang, 119 kilowatt at 51%. That is quite massive. I have indication that the Tang is roughly at 90 kilowatt hour gross capacity. That means that uh, we are charging at uh, uh, well or close to 1.5 C at 55% that is very impressive now, there's gonna be a little drop here because uh, the active cooling was active right now but um, uh, it seems like the tank is actually slightly uh, rapid gating also especially if you use the air conditioning in the cabin there, 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 71 suddenly it drops to 71 kilowatts so this was actually not a perfect run it seems like it throttle uh, because of thermal issues probably because it's supposed to be 119 kilowatt flat until 63 64 percent or something and now you see even throttles more but there so the break point uh, it's supposed to be 83 84 kilowatt once it throttles or 85 kilowatt actually so that was a, a, a slight dip because uh, the battery was slightly overheating. Maybe the cooling on the tank is not the best, so uh, it kind of can't keep up with, uh, with the temperature if it gets too hot. But uh, all right, other than that, we'll see that, uh, huh, how is the, yeah, so the tank has a quite big lead to, uh, versus the ES8 right now. ES8, on the other hand, seems to be nice and flat, but tank had that uh, 118, 119 kilowatt flat, so you got a nice head start versus the ES8. I will just show you guys Mach E, and e-tron but i won't comment them too much i'll comment them maybe later but you see that actually e-tron is about to hit there e-tron hit 90 percent boom so much faster than the other ones the other one is only at 75 percent roughly well es8 is even not that far so i feel like actually the es8 is the slowest charging car right now it's the largest battery okay but uh, still kind of slow but just look at this so the, on the top there you see the tang because this is a blade battery lfp it can take that kind of charging speed even beyond 80%. So if you look below, you see Mach E. Mach E used to be charging dog slow at 80%. Well, actually, you know, it's only at 72%. We have to wait a little bit. But look at this. Look at Tang. Even at 83%, 84%, it's taking 46, uh, 86 kilo. Okay, now it throttled. Yes. So it went quite far until it started throttling. <laughs> that is really impressive. So right now the, the tank is actually the second fastest. Okay, e-tron, uh, e you just want to go to 100%. Yeah, why not? Uh, just flexing it. But um, 
Okay, really impressive that uh, the this, the throttling throttling comes late, and you might be wondering, well, but you're hurting the battery, right? No, this is LFP battery. It can take that beating. LFP battery is really robust. It has high cycle rate, and compared to all the other uh, cobalt-based uh, batteries that we actually have in the comparison, then the LFP is just uh, king when it comes. Okay, Etron just finished now. Like, oh yeah, but look look at the Mach E. Okay, at 80% it started throttling and it's getting only 35 kilowatt. So <laughs> compare that to the Tang, the Tang is really just kick ass compared to Mach E. Uh, ES8 on the other hand is coming kind of strong now, coming fast now. So, um, okay, uh, it, it kind of charges kind of flat, but even at 88% you can take, take 61 kilowatt, but this is a 100 kilowatt hour pack, remember that ES8, whereas the Tang, like I mentioned, is probably around 90 kilowatt hour, but look at this, even at 94% it's taking 50 kilowatt. Huh? 95 yeah why not so really impressive how fast it charges uh, actually the other day i was uh, plugged in later and it has that burst so that when you plug in later you will get a flatter charging curve and a higher speed uh, even at 99 percent i was receiving 46 kilowatt but you can see now even i wanted to see this so <laughs> you see even if you need to charge 97 98 percent you still get pretty good speed <laughs> very impressive at, at this point now okay um Tang went also to 90% uh, before the other ones and it seems like Tang will also hit 100% before the other cars so we're just gonna charge a little bit more see what happens 99% okay I, I when I stopped the recording it was 99% but just seconds after I stopped the recording it popped over to 100% and you can see that we, it received 86.7 kilowatt hour uh, and if we do the math, it corresponds to roughly 84 kilowatt hour if you take in some losses and some cooling or whatever that goes lost there. Uh, ES8, I stopped it after a while uh, and then, okay. Uh, the funny part was that uh, towards the end, I forgot to show you guys, but uh, by the time Tang reached 100%, then the Mach-E reached 90%. Just to put things in perspective, how fast and how kick ass this LFP battery is. And here we see the Mach-E, uh, uh, ES8, Tang, and then, hmm, uh, yeah, okay, uh, the, the Audi is over here, I think, yeah. But just look at least look at these three cars, and you see that, okay, the Mustang has, has a fa faster initial boost, okay, that's fine. Uh, but then already here, at 15%, it starts dropping, actually, yeah, and then suddenly the Chinese cars are faster, huh? And just look at Tang, look at how fast Tang is charging compared to the ES8. Okay, yeah, I forgot to mention, so the ES8 is supposed to have 125 kilowatt here at the bottom, so we have to recheck that. But really impressive, okay, after one, the ES8 dropped to 90 kilowatt, and then the Mustang also has a slower, slower drop, but the Tang, man, the Tang just goes like a boss, 119 kilowatt, and flat all the way to okay then it has yeah, i would say this is the the thermal throttle it should be 119 kilowatt until 63 percent until it uh, it throttles so um but really, really impressive to take 190 like, how many other cars can take 119 okay well mercedes well that's mercedes okay that's mercedes okay uh i4 yeah you see huh look at this it even charges faster than i4 at 59 percent Oh, is this Porsche? Okay, they're cheating. E okay, they're cheating. But but just look at many other cars. And many other cars at uh, six, uh, 59, 60 percent, they are taking only 80 kilowatt or 100 kilowatt or uh, what is this Volvo? Yeah, just wow, I have so much data now. Holy shit! How long did it take to gather all this data? What is this Model Three Long Range uh, Panasonic? Oh, okay. Wow, even that one is slightly lower. Look, look. Okay, really impressive. But I'm going to show you the graph then. Uh, if you look here, boom. So um, <clears throat> um, here we have the uh, the the e-tron, fat e-tron, as expected, whoop, goes like this, and then we have the Mustang has a nice boost in the beginning, and then whoop, kind of drops below all the Chinese, and it pretty much stays below the Chinese for the rest of the charging session, and then here is Tang. Look at that, look at that beautiful, nice and flat charging curve. So the reason why it goes up, 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 like I mentioned, is because the voltage uh, slowly goes up and then the, um, the current stays the same. But the, the, this is one property of LFP is that the voltage is very nice and flat. There's very little voltage change. You can see here on the fat e-tron, that one has a higher voltage change. That's the nature of those chemistries. But... Um, 
yeah, compared to the ES8, man, I can't wait to test ES8. I will test it in one week. You know, here is the green line. Yeah, okay. ES8 wasn't that impressive. We will see, I guess, once I get it and see how it is. But I suspect that it might just have an initial boost and then it kind of dropped again from what I've seen uh, on screenshots on Facebook. But um, <clears throat> yeah, and here, we, here you can clearly see that, that thermal drop here, where it's supposed to be like this, zoop, maybe, and then boop. Uh, but really, really impressive how this LFP blade battery can deal with this. So remember that this is an 800 volt system. It's supposed to be superior to the 400 volt cars, but it doesn't charge as fast as the 400 volt cars. And it is thirstier and less efficient than the 400 volt cars. Okay, but I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.